Once again, I welcome you all in last lecture. Uh, we discussed about uh, why a marketer should study the consumer behavior. In this uh, position, we are continuing the same and uh, we are going to give you uh, the five important reasons uh, which a marketer should understand uh, in order to uh, make your consumer delighted. So if you see, uh, you know, the management, management is uh, is the youngest of science and oldest of arts and uh, consumer behavior, you know, is a very, very young discipline, right? And, and, and you know, when, when uh, we talk about the 1950s, the, the, the marketing concept was developed, right? So this is not uh, a new concept. It's a very, very old concept. And you know the marketer started understanding the, the behavior, the pattern, you know the needs, desire, everything uh, from uh, the last so many years. And but, but the one important part at the time was there was you know the less competition. You know technology was not so updated. So there was a, you know there was a monopoly. Although the the monopoly was so much. And uh, you know the level of competition was too less, but uh, in present scenario, uh, there is no need to tell you the intensity of the competition. You know, so so from marketer point of view, uh, you know well that if you could not live up to the expectations of the consumer, you will be out of the race. So uh, you know very well. So what you will do? So you will do once you will understand. You know. Uh, why I should understand my consumer well. So I, I'm giving you the five reasons that why you should understand your consumer. Uh, so so first is you know uh, now if you see the lifespan of a particular product and service is getting shorter day by day. The day has gone when we introduce one product and uh, then we, we finally sit idle that yes, I have made the product and the product is satisfying the need of the customer so it will go for a longer period of time. No, 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 that the, the day has gone now. Now uh, the, the, the scenario is, um, you know, uh, you will have to go ahead with your competitors by introducing your own product, making changes in your own product as soon as possible. The moment you will make your product, you know, innovative, uh, you know, and you will push the product much earlier before your competitors, it will give you an edge in market. So the time has come when you you have to give bond to your product, and again you have to uh, destroy and reborn the same product as soon as possible. Uh, so, so the lifespan, uh, you know, the life cycle of a particular product, uh, your duty is to reduce the life cycle of the product uh, on your, your on your behalf. Because if you will not do, your competitor will do and then competitor will go ahead, right? And second part is, important part is, there is no need to tell you how for frequently, you know, the technology uh, are changing. You know, so you you will be uh, you will be having an edge in market if you frequently adopt the technology. You know, uh, if I talk so about uh, the failure of the Nokia, uh, so you know the main reason for failure of the Nokia was you know not not adopting the the, the change in technology that was in the form of the Android. Why Samsung, you know, still if I talk about Samsung as number one in terms of the sales, uh, you know, even in terms of the customer satisfaction, because, uh, you know, Samsung understood the nerve of the consumer and uh, Samsung understood if, if uh, the company doesn't adopt the newly, you know, the newly born technology, so company will also be away from the market so so and but nokia had you know the belief that whatever uh, the technology i have so if i continue with the same so so uh, I, I i will be because people having a perception that uh, the nokia is uh, nokia is number one so it was you know the overconfident of nokia to not to go with the technology uh, finally ruined Nokia and Nokia finally uh, you know had to sell its head office as well and a uh, story you know very well so 
mean, if you want to be ahead in the market, you will have to easily adopt uh, the the technology. Newly newly born technology you will have to adopt. The third important part is you know the lifestyles are changing very frequently. Even even a particular month or two months, you will see that the one the the, the one style came and finally goes off, and people are talking about the another style. You know, so uh, again, very important for you to understand what what the consumer want, what the type of lifestyles the the consumer want. You know, uh, the the mode of payment has become so easy for uh, for consumer now that even if a costly product is even even if a, a television worth one lakh rupees, it's not uh, it's very very easy for um, uh, consumer to purchase because of the EMI system, because of the uh, you know the credit card facilities, because of the zero percent interest rate. There are so many benefits you know the marketer has started giving you. So uh, the the people you know uh, want new and new and uh, and the you know the price paying money was a main obstacle. Even that obstacle was being removed by the company because of the changing lifestyle. So again, you will have to make your eye open on uh, the the changing lifestyle so that you can come with a new a new uh, a new style of uh, you know. Uh, uh, making your customer satisfied environmental concern yes very very important role playing than already says governments are very much you know aware and government is also making you aware about uh, uh, about the environment how environment is you know uh, if you if you cannot protect your environment then you don't have right to do your business and you know the polythene ban is one of an important uh, part of the good car banning is uh, the very important part then you have to make certifications from you know the different international standard organization so that shows that uh, if you cannot protect your environment then a time will come when you will go off the business everything will be ruined out yeah because uh, nothing will be you know available for uh, consuming even for using so so environment is very very important protect it and uh, you also uh, when you do business you also understand the, the the role of environment so each and every companies are not talking about the environmental concern then preference uh, one of the most most important aspect if you will see then uh, the preferences are changing very frequently environment uh, you know the consumers behavior are uh, influenced by the environment as well right so uh, the the environment uh, you know uh, once you talk about the environment uh, they, they 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 changes their behavior after seeing the environment right uh, so again you you have to uh, understand you will have to options you know now have consumers having too much so you will have to give consumer you know very, very much options even for the same product like like if i talk about the samsung the company is coming with very very you know product line various you know product depth and with companies talking about so why because you cannot restrict to a particular segment you cannot restrict to a particular you know the purchasing power so India is all about uh, the, you know there's variety of people having different mindsets, different purchasing power, different lifestyles. Everything is you know different. So as a marketer, you have to grab opportunity from each and every segment. So in order to grab you know opportunity, you have to give you know the wider preference to your consumer. So uh, these. Uh, these five things I hope will make your concept clear regarding uh, why a marketer should study the consumer behavior. Uh, so thank you very much. Um, again, very soon we are uh, meeting in uh, our next uh, uh, discussion, and uh, again we will come with a new, a new innovative uh, chapters related to the consumer behavior. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.